Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Poe back again with Let's Get Techie. Uh, today we're going to do a little bit of a different video. Um, so I'm sure, as all of you know, uh, the cat is out of the bag. AMD has launched Ryzen. Um, well, at least uh, pre-orders have begun. The official launch date is March 2nd. Um, but if you pre-order today, it does look uh, as though they will actually ship out on March 2nd. Uh, that is my hope anyway. Uh, so I have already pre-ordered, but let's talk about that for a second. Does it make sense for you to pre-order? Well, that kind of depends on your situation, and it kind of depends whether or not you're feeling lucky. Uh, a lot of times you can take a company for what they say, and you get shit on for it. So... I guess the question is, are you feeling lucky? In this video, we're not going to discuss specs or pricing. That's been covered multiple times and there's no need for you to hear it again from me. Uh, what this video is actually uh, about is AM4 coolers uh, or the lack thereof. Um, unfortunately, right now, the only coolers that are on the market are Noctua. So Noctua has three coolers right now uh, that are made for AM4. Unfortunately all three of those coolers are sold out on Amazon. There is a Noctua upgrade bracket kit for a few of their coolers that is available on Amazon. Um, the only other option is going to be some of Corsair's older units. So their H60, their H100i non-GTX non v2 or their h110i all three of those have been designed um, so that they will work with am4 they weren't let's just put it this way it was by luck uh, just because of the way they were designed they happen to also be compatible with am4 now the reason that i'm talking about the lack of coolers is because you may not know this but two of the three chips that are available for pre-order right now do not include coolers. Uh, so right now your selection is fairly slim. You've got the bracket that I mentioned for the Noctua coolers uh, and then you've got three older coolers from Corsair that are compatible. There are several companies uh, that are developing or have already developed coolers. They are just not on the market yet. There are companies that are coming up with brackets to uh, mate their older coolers with AM4 uh, all of the usual suspects, Cooler Master, uh, Cryo Rig, Corsair, um, pretty much everybody is going to come out with an AM4 cooler. If you're a diehard liquid cooler and you prefer building your own custom loops, uh, luckily EK Waterblocks already has you covered. They have several solutions on their website uh, that you can already order. I've actually already ordered a bracket from them that I'll be using with a Predator 360 eventually once I swap Ryzen over into my main rig. The final option that you have right this minute is actually not an AM4 cooler or bracket at all. It's one of the AM4 motherboards. Uh, so Asus was uh, smart enough to design their new Crosshair Hero board so that it is actually compatible with AM3 coolers. Um, I did not know this for the longest time. I stumbled across this today. I was absolutely stoked because that's actually the board that I pre-ordered with my 1800X. Uh, so they actually have the mounting holes that will line up with AM3. So if you're coming from, say, an FX series chip, uh, not only does this board offer great overclocking potential uh, but it is going to be compatible with those uh, older coolers. So that is the current state of Ryzen CPU coolers. Um, a few other things to keep in mind. Jay had mentioned in his Ryzen video that uh, there probably will be some teething pains. Um, early adopters are going to have some weird quirks I'm sure. Uh, that is fairly normal when you, you're you the first one to jump on the bandwagon with new technology. So just make sure you keep that in mind. And if you want to pre-order, 
I say go for it. I did it. AMD hasn't been good for a while, so I was incredibly excited about it. Um, I think they're going to be good chips, uh, and I can't wait to get mine in hand. Um, so we will be reviewing the 1800X soon. Uh, I believe the chip is shipping out March 2nd for me. Unfortunately, the board uh, is not available until March 7th. Uh, I got it from Newegg, actually, and they switched the date from March 2nd to March 7th. Uh, so once we get all that here, uh, we'll get some testing done and we'll get a video out for you guys. Uh, so that's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please leave us a like, get subscribed if you aren't already, and we'll see you in the next one.